Hey guys, welcome to my introduction to basic self-defense techniques for my fitness or self-defense workout series. I either directed you here from one of the workouts or maybe you just came across it to learn some basic self-defense. The techniques that I'm going to show you apply to basic body mechanics. So you can apply them to the workouts and just build the muscle memory of performing those self-defense techniques. Or you can also begin to think of them in the context of an actual self-defense situation. So wherever you're approaching it from, let's go ahead and jump into the technique. is the first one that I'm going to show you. It is a basic guard stance or a basic ready stance. I'm going to turn so you can see me. It's just a general stance to be in when you're prepared to defend yourself. And that can be physically, it can even be verbally. It's just a way to set a boundary with your body language. So you're going to pick your dominant side, whatever side that is. Place your hand on the same side, same leg. And you're just going to take a step back. And that step, it's not very big, it's not super short. I find a good way to get to this stance is to imagine if someone gave you a hard shove and not so hard that it knocks you down to the ground, but hard enough that you have to step back and quickly catch your balance. And that's about where you are in this stance. It's really solid and stable and grounded. So again, same leg, same arm, and this is just a helpful reminder. You don't always have to do this, but whatever your dominant side is, step back with that side, and that back foot comes to a 45 degree angle, so front foot points forward, back foot points on a 45. And now as we do that, we're gonna take that step back and also bring our hands up in front of us. So right about in front of our face, that leg that's forward, that same arm is going to be a little more forward, and that leg that's back, that same side, is going to be a little more back. And they're just nice and relaxed, a nice bend in your elbows. They're not straight out, and they're not in here like this. This is just a good boundary setting um, posture. So whatever side you go from, same leg, same arm, step back, hands come up. And the reason we do this is one, because this sets a very clear boundary of stop or no, different from you're know, just stepping back and hands coming down here. This is more like, whoa, what are you doing? Hey there, this is, you know, maybe, whereas this is no. And we wanna make sure that we're sending very clear messages with our body language. And this to most people is very clear. And then another reason that you would find yourself in this position is if you did need to physically defend yourself, you're ready. That's why it's called ready stance. Your hands are up. You can do any number of things from this position. So that's your basic ready stance. We're going to use it just here and there in the fitness for self-defense videos. And you can also just practice it um, even when you're not doing a workout. It's just a good stance to have in your pocket and to be able to come to whenever you need it. So that's your basic ready stance. You can jump back to one of the workouts if I sent you here from there. You can just jump into the next technique video. And if this was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. And I'm just gonna keep putting them out so that you can keep building your self-defense practice from home. So have a great day. Thanks for joining me.